into college basketball, an exciting season came to an abrupt end for the Red Storm last Monday. But despite the loss in the regional championships, Coach John Judkins and his players echoed a successful season. Thanks to the Dixie College store located on 100 South, we bring you this week's Storm in Limelight. I think it was a great season. Um, we wanted to set our goal and make it back to the tournament, and we did, and we made it to Sweet 16. Uh, it was a good season. Unfortunate that we lost to our rivals, but I mean, you have to lose sometime. Only one team gets to, uh, gets to end the season on a win. It's too bad it wasn't us. I think that we did a really good job of coming together as a team. Um, we started out okay. I mean, we were about nine and six at one point, and to end with 22 wins and to get to the Sweet 16 and everything like that, I think that it really took a team effort. It was a great season um, to win 22 games. Uh, the way we started off um, was kind of tough. We had some goals set this year. One of them was to win 20 games. Uh, one was never lose at home, and we started off our two conference games at home. We lost, so that, that really hurt our, our chances to win the 20 games. This year, we had a lot of uh, People come out, we had over our, I mean, every year we keep getting better, more attendance. I get letters and phone calls and emails saying, hey, I love watching your guys play, and, and uh, I appreciate that. It means a lot to me when I see them here, and the, I know the players love it. You know, when you get a home court advantage and all the people yelling and cheering for you, it makes a big difference. We stood together. Um, a lot of people thought we weren't going to, you know, be any good. Uh, they told us we were going to be ranked fourth come, I mean, in conference, um, but we stood together. We overcame adversity. Years from now, I'll be able to look up and see two banners up in the uh, up in the rafters. Back-to-back uh, -back conference championships is huge. Going to the Sweet 16 is huge, and that's stuff that I'll never forget. You watch the games now on television, the, the Final Four now, and and you see the guys crying. And like, I got a couple eight-year-old twins, and they ask, "Why are they crying? Why are they crying?" It's not that they're crying because they lost. They're crying because they know that the team will never be the same. And that's the hardest part of these seniors. You know, is is uh, you see them go. They they've meant so much to this program. It's still something that I'm I'm trying to kind of deal with. Not having basketball every day. I've been doing it for so long. It barely started hitting me today when they had uh, individuals that I wasn't coming to work out. Um, but yeah, it's starting to hit me. It's it's tough to say bye, especially you know. Seeing Coach every day and uh, just laughing at his jokes, it's gonna, I'm going to miss it. With Coach Jadkins, obviously he was by your side the whole way. And, and what's, what's the, some of the best advice he's given you on the court, off the court either? Um, really just play hard, you know, because the, the time does go by really fast. And it's kind of something for life, too. You, you got to do stuff the best that you can and, and don't let it slip by because it's something that's special and, and to just give it everything you have. He always tells me to stay positive and uh, or he'll say, keep your head up, big fella. So that's something I always take with me. I always tell everybody, hey, big fella, I call everybody that. Dixie State ended the year with a 22-7 and record. And while attendance has been down recently, the team averaged nearly 3,000 people to each home game. So great, great turnout for, for the Dixie College. It's too bad that they're... Their game, you know, all their games came to an abrupt end there at the end, but yeah. really a good season for them. Great season for them. Successful squad. Good stuff. Thanks, Logan. <laughs> Thanks, Logan.